Hey, welcome to my uh, YouTube uh, channel. Uh, I'm Leah Bell Nursery. Uh, first of all, I uh, just want to say that I'm not an English person. I'm, I'm a French, so I don't speak very well in English. I just, I will try. Um, uh, today, I just wanted to uh, share with you how I draw and paint my reborn hair. So, um, I will try to explain uh, best as I can in English. Um, I already have done one in French for uh, my uh, French uh, viewers. Uh, I thought it would may be a good idea to do it in English too. Um, so that's it for um, the material you will need. You will need some uh, Prismacolor pencil. I mostly use um, French grey for mapping. You can use whatever color you want for the mapping. Um, I use French grey, I use black and I also use beige it's for um, the fine air, fine air uh, in, uh, in the face mostly and for the paint color I use um, raw umber I use sometime burnt umber black I use um, raw sienna and titan buff. I use um, an extender for uh, the dry time, water and bit of medium. I use um, super matte medium from Golden because uh, as you may have noticed I use um, Golden paint, acrylic paint. I don't use um, Genesis if you use Genesis, you can um, use the same color. It's the same technique, so about the same, um, but you will have to bake uh, between a few la a flu uh, sorry a few layers. For the brush, I just use those two little brush. You can use finer brush. You can use. Uh, air type brush it's just a flat brush with tip cut so for beginning you will have to sharp your pencil very well to have a really fine point then we'll start start with mapping um, for mapping the the base is about the same for each baby you take your baby head, start in the top of the ear, find the top, the highest point of the head and go all over until you reach the other side. It will give you a clue to where put the swirl if you want a swirl. So we will put your swirl around this line so this side or this side then you start again in the base of the ear and you draw a fine line across the head where you want to be the front line of your ear so you decide a tip if you don't don't go too far away uh, try to make it realistic to bring it more in the front. You can adjust later later if you are not happy with it. Then you have the temple here. You can bring a triangle the, the, the front of the ear you can bring a triangle here near the eyebrows and go up here do the same, exactly the same thing the other side. If you are not happy, 
you can always uh, erase the pencil with a bit of water and for the back of the head you go you can trace a line don't go too far back because of the neck here you will have trouble to put paint here so just up the, the neck here then you decide where you if you want a swirl and where you want it so I will just make a swirl here just draw a little circle then that will be your point to bring here the trick is to let your end very still very soft and just follow follow your end stank and the way you which way you want it to go for uh, this little guy I will slightly go in the side like here like this and I will go over you follow your your swirl don't push too hard on your pencil just let it glide gently those are not your final ear so just gently peel just it just to guide you where you will actually try draw the the air I'm sorry for my English. I I'm not very good to speak. <laughs> I understand very well. I can read very well, but for speaking, it's another story. So you go under here. Don't be worried for the too much if you if not exactly what you want you can go we will make a lot of flyers on top so you will correct it as you go. Usually in the back the line tend to uh, converge here in the neck so you can Just a fast drawing, just to to give us clue where where put the hair, where to paint. You decide if you want it more curly or more straight. You can do fine ear, fine ear here, if you want. So that's the the first draw. It's not perfect. If at the stages you want to correct something, you are really not happy. You can just erase it and do it again. And that's why you don't have to push too hard on your pencil because it's if you push too hard it's too dark you will you will have uh, trouble to erase so at this stage if you want you can just begin with the paint uh, I like to do almost all the air with Prismacolor with pencil first then after that I just um, paint over to uh, accent to the the air color. Not sure, this is the if it's the good word. So at this stage, I look all over if if I want something different. I just correct. 
then with my same color if I'm happy with the result I just go over and then I make the real the real line where I want the hair I begin by the the side where all the fine hair, hair are usually I do I'm doing all the fine hair and after that I just go and continue with the with the line I have so you let your end very soft just follow the flow be relaxed the secret is to be very relaxed enjoy it Sometimes some baby have give us the the line to follow the we just see where goes the air how the how the curl and all that sometimes some baby are difficult and you will change direction as you go you may end up with something that you have not planned in the beginning that's normal. It's like the painting. Sometimes we want some some specific skin tone, and whatever we do, we can't achieve this skin tone, and we end up with other another uh, color that we have not planned. It's art. Let let the medium speak to you. As you go, you will see that some air bring together with will make some darker line just naturally. That's okay, that's where the the air join. At this stage don't do too much <coughs> sorry, don't do too long too much long air long line just begin to just do short short air because air uh, newborn baby have usually no, do not have long air um, and air go in different ways different direction so if your line are very long it would not look natural so you will continue just follow your pattern turn make line go elsewhere just follow the your instinct Again, at this stage, if you are not happy with the result at the end, you can easily erase. I just decide to give it more curve here, so I just cut through the the line I made previously at this stage you you can draw all the head and later on decide if you want uh, air to be fine or to be more um, dense more air because all the head is covered with fine Air. So if you use a pale color and just do fine lines, later on you will be able just to uh, accent to the where you want the actual air to be. 
and if you want sparse air you will just go over certain zone and not the others usually the baby have much air in the back ear in the side ear and in the front ear this zone those zone are usually have less air so be careful not paint all the head all the same color this it's not realist I hope I'm clear <laughs> so just go and let let go your end let go your your pencil enjoy it there's no mistake at this stage it just go ahead and if you don't like you can erase or draw uh, over it it's not not a problem so i i do that all around the the head it's my first uh, layer Later on I will pass over with another layer. Then after that I will I can begin if I stay with pencil I will begin to use different color to add deep. Um or you can use paint and do the same thing. So I will just continue my my layers and we'll see you later for the the second layer. If you just a tip if you um, I forgot to mention it uh, before you draw if you want the paint to the pencil to stick on the vinyl just see how smooth it, it glide on you may varnish the doll um, I use uh, deco art I will show you I use this varnish it's a ultra matte varnish. You can use um, soft touch, but you have to mix it with the powders so you have grip. Because soft touch varnish alone, the pencil will not uh, mark, will not uh, will not stay on. Um, I have uh, noticed that with golden medium and golden paint I don't necessarily have to varnish before uh, the pencil just work fine but I'm not sure for other type of uh, air dry paint um, if it's I, I know that uh, some paint do not do have the grip uh, so you better uh, to varnish. I don't know about Genesis varnish, so I can't tell you if it works or not. But for uh, you can use this varnish over Genesis with no problem. You don't have to bake it. Uh, so you you uh, you better to do a layer of that before pencil. And you do not you do not have to bake. Prismacolor pencil. It's not a paint. It's a. Uh, it, it, it's. It, I think it, the it have um, pigment mixed with. Uh, uh, I don't know the word. <laughs> I'm not sure what compose those, but you don't have to bake it. I don't know why some people want to bake it. It will not stay longer or be more resistant or anything like that it's just a pencil so uh, you can just draw and varnish over and that's it uh, I have some babies I have made a uh, long time ago with an, just Prismacolor and air are uh, still fine still like new so it's not a thing to bike over Prismacolor uh, so like I said, I, I will finish the first layer and go ahead and do the second layer.
So I have done my first layer. I just um, do fine lines, pale, just to have something to work with. I have done fine ear, air, ear on the temple, on the front, and on the back. So that's my pattern. Before uh, adding your the second pencil layer, I suggest you to varnish a thin layer of varnish on top, just to keep your lines if you are uh, happy happy with, and to give more grip to the pencil because if you keep adding more and more pencil over without varnishing, you will. Um, you will see that it won't stay uh, you it's satur sat saturate <laughs> I'm not sure I struggle a lot to speak in English it's really clear in my mind but uh, to speak it's n it's not <laughs> as good as I want <laughs> sorry for that um, so Something I just want you to uh, to know is uh, you, I I figure uh, I'm not the best in the world for doing air. Uh, certainly not um, a prototype artist. So that's my own way. Uh, I try to uh, improve every time I do it. So it's my way. You will find your way too. It's not the best, but uh, it certainly can help you if you have never done something like that before uh, you're totally beginner at draw drawing or painting air it will give you some uh, clue to uh, to begin and to uh, to do it right um, when you are paint painting or drawing air it's an illusion of reality you want to create. You want to create realism with an illusion. In French we call it trompe l'oeil. You will work with different color for creating shade and 3D effects. You will work with very fine line and more uh, wide line to create this effect too. Um, so don't worry uh, about um what are you? so the that that's you what you want to create an illusion uh so give um a, a layer of varnish I have already done it. It's just with a, a brush, paint brush. Just gently go over. Don't miss a spot because you will notice it with the the pencil. Um, for the the next layer, you will have you will use the same color. Sharp, sharpen your sharp your pencil very well. Then now what we will do is to go over the more darker line just to accentuate them so just go over gently you will see it darker darkening naturally Even if you have varnish it, you can change some line if you are not happy with just by going over in another direction. You will pass over it and will create a new a new pattern. So you gently just go over the darker part. Oops, my, that's, my pen broke. It's not a good thing. It's 
seems okay. So just go over the, the darker line to define them more. Don't worry too much about the the wide of the line for now. Try to always do fine line, but it's not it's not really important because you will go over it with other color uh, or paint later. So. What I do is often I just do my more dark and white trait in the the darker spot and for the light I just go fine fine fine. So you follow your your line, your pattern. You can change direction sometime because air always are mess up on the head. It's not. It's never perfect and straight and depends if you want a wet look or not if you want more uh, you want to go more for a wet look you will be more um, you you will you will not mess the pardon, mess the line too much you will you will try to to go uh, steady so sometimes I change, I create other type of line don't have to push hard on your pencil, just let it glide gently. And lines are always darker when air meet each other at the end. If you want the color to be black or dark brown, just begin with um, the gray, French gray, or um, maybe espresso can be a good choice. Espresso tend to be more uh, orange than the gray. If you want pale blonde air, you use exactly the same, the gray, French gray, because it's the in the back of the head, the air are more darker. So even if it's blonde, you will still use this color. For for today, I just I will show you the the brown. Uh, light brown, brown, standard brown, baby brown, don't know how to call it, because I can't, uh, obviously, obvi obviously, I don't know how to pronounce this word, I can't do all the color in one tutorial, it's impossible, so I choose to do it, to do it brown, but for, uh, for darker it's easy, you just uh, to use a darker brown in the next layer but for blonde you start 
with this and later you will add shade so you see what I'm I'm doing I just go over my line and dark them darken them Sometime I turn cut a straight line just to give movement to the air. Almost done. As I go I I just change direction sometime and if I like the the result, so uh, I'm almost I'm most done here. So as you see, I I have not put air dark air everywhere. I just go over some line, and other space are pale. If you do all the head with the same color, dark, it will not be uh, natural. That's often the problem we see uh, beginners at painting air. Does it very often? They just go ahead and put air the exact same thickness all over. That's not how we create the illusion. So be careful just to let some space without air. So that's it for the second layer. It's not too bad. If you are pleased with the result here, you can just let it like that and maybe put some lighter highlight in some place I will show it later uh, if you want to add more air or dark cer certain area you can put another layer of varnish and then do another layer uh, with your gray or a brown or a black even if you want um, I will show it full prisma like I do then I will go over with paint just to show you with the paint uh, it's maybe a, a tutorial in two part because it will be too long if I just do the boat uh, boat and not uh, not cut somewhere so I will go ahead and pass over with a uh, brown So I have different kind of brown pencil here. I have chocolate. I have um, I think it's similar to I don't know how to say it in English. Sorry, uh, brun ombre foncé. It's like burnt umber. You have dark brown, and you have espresso that you can also use. I will try the bird umber. I like the color. If you see you have trouble to have the, the pencil mark, uh, put another layer of varnish on over, you will see. So I will just go over the air I have already done. just to add some brown highlight color on it you can do a test if you want uh, if you have a test head or limb that's a good thing to have 
to test your color. If it's not the shade you want. It's not a problem if you go over with paint, but if you're just doing pencil, it's, it's maybe uh, difficult to correct the color after. So that's the color that gives me. It's not very obvious. So I just go over the same thing. I pass over cross line. I'm doing more uh, fine line. Because uh, as I progress, the line will be finer, finer, fine. I think. <laughs> I know some English people will maybe laugh a bit listening. As you see, I don't go over all the head, I just highlight some zone, put some color here and there, darker at some place and more light at some. Just go like you feel it to give it, to give the, the realism. I think you pronounce realism in English. funny how uh, we have similar words but do not pronounce them the same. So I just go light over. I'm not a person who likes detail very much, so um, that's why I like just give the the impression, the, the feeling of realism, but not go over detailing every air. I find it boring, <laughs> but you can totally do do it if you want to go uh, to draw every in each strand of hair if you want. <clears throat> Sorry, if you are, uh, if you like it, go ahead and do it. The most beautiful paint air I saw was done with. So sorry my battery died and I have to search for my other battery can't find it so I was about to think about teaching you some of our bad word in here in Quebec but um, no I'm not this kind of person so <laughs> I just go change my battery and uh, continue. So like you see I just cover with my brown I know my end is kind of uh, in the front but I go over everywhere I have put air just to give some color I go darker on the top of the head Sharp this. 
you will begin to see a difference uh, really soon in the the depth and the light you will see it appear more realist when you are happy with this layer you can put varnish on it So this is what I got with the brown. It's okay. I'm not sure I like this side. I try to correct it. I want the hair to go more more like that on the side. So I will put a varnish because I have trouble to make my color to stay. I'm very I, I put a layer of varnish about to coat. I do it with brush to not try to not disturb my uh, my line. Just gently go over it, not not pushing, not rubbing, just gently push. If you are happy with with it now you can stop here, just do some highlight then uh, Finish it here, or you go. You can go over. Do a third layer to uh, highlight some zone and darker some other. You can go with another color. The more color you go, the more three D effect you will have. Go with color similar. Try to to keep it um, similar because if you go with the light blonde over brown over black and all this, you will have a a fun year. So just try to to try. Let it dry. <clears throat> Sorry for my throat today. I have some trouble to speak. <laughs> it's not my day. For the eyebrows, I have done it yesterday before uh, <clears throat> before deciding to do a tutorial. So I just go with uh, this time my. Uh, French grey, I love this color. Just do light strand. Same thing the other side. Just just like that. I do I do not take much time to do eyebrows. It just just go with some stripe. Just there. Um not too dark. Follow the bone. Try to follow the bone here, just a bit under the bone. If you go to hide in the in the groove here, it will not be uh, realistic. If you go under, it will not. That that's not the place. It's the place is just a bit under the bone here. 
so we can go one one layer of that then we can go with a bit darker color or lighter color to just put some highlight in there the highlight you put you put them between the dark or over a dark line just to go just go lightly between each line we will we will have some some uh, barely there eyebrow if you want them darker you can go over with dark over or uh, espresso or whatever color you want I can go over with a bit dark here just to accentuate some not too much I don't want really dark bro I just want some don't worry if they are not totally similar symmetrical it's not bad thing because no one have uh, perfectly uh, identical eyebrows so when your varnish is dry to the touch you can go over with another coat I just will go over with um, I think that is my espresso no, it's too uh, too light. I will go over with uh, black. I will not go too dark. I will just accentuate some some darker line here, here and there, just to give more definition. So I just go gently over dark space that I want to create depth. Shadow if you prefer. gives a more uh, finished look don't go too dark if you are doing uh, pale air just uh, just to give some shad shadow at some place it's not do not do you <laughs> you don't want it to be dark If you made br uh, light, light brown or blonde, don't use black. If you want a red dead, don't do black. Just go with a brown instead. Or a gray. So that just to give some, some more defined line. Just go over the place that where I want some shadow, some clear line. Trouble here, some uh, varnish that I've made some bump. I don't do black line between a line I read it there. I just go under of or uh, slightly over. I don't create new 
here I just go around the line so you you already see the the difference that give take my time I don't want to mess up at this stage you can always erase the the latest layer but it would be more difficult uh, maybe stain and you will have uh, some trouble to cover it so you already see the on this side of some black in it, but not this side. So I continue my way down here, just slightly give some definition. I don't think it's easier than uh, routing. Certainly not as realist that than routing. So. But it's not really easier. Routing is easy. It's not hard. It's long. Sure, but it's not hard. You just have to poke holes and that's almost it. Uh, I will certainly make another tutorial for routing later on but it's not something I I really like. I prefer draw and, and paint here. Routing is really easy. It's uh, it add to the cost of the the reborn because of the cost of the moir and the time is really time consuming. Paint air it's faster but it's really more difficult to uh, achieve realism with paint air. But the great advantage is that you you can dress and put hats on your reborn without messing with the air. Air will always stay nice and clean. You will not lose air. You will not uh, have a baby with bald spot and things like that. It's I prefer paint air over more air. If it's well done, paint air are really realistic. Some people mistake it for more air. It's happened to me all the time when I bring my babies out. People think that's real air. They have to touch it to confirm that's not. It's funny. Funny because for my eyes, my own eyes, it's look, draw and paint. I, as an artist, I always dub myself, but it seems that people find it real. So, so I'm almost done with my black. If you paint blonde hair you you do it with brown darker shade so I have my shade all over I can go over certain place that I don't like like here just 
just want to bring it back here. I think that's so great. It's not perfect. It doesn't matter to me because I will certainly keep this little guy for myself. <clears throat> I love the Gabriel kit. It's Gabriel from Bountiful Baby. I love, love, love this kit. I have made one previously that I sold and I miss him so much. I'm not a collector, I say it to myself. <laughs> I think I'm lying to myself because I I want to keep all all the the dolls I made. I have a lot. I think that that's almost here I wanted to to be I think that's that's okay as I said it's not perfect but kind of cute so now the last step, oh, you can do uh, how, how much level you want, uh, level layer. You can go over with uh, gray, with uh, another layer of brown, De really depend on the color you want. But be aware that the more layer you put, the more... Um, the more air you will get. Don't know if you, uh, if I say it correctly. <coughs> so the last step, the la excuse me, I really had trouble with my throat today. So the last last step is to put highlight on. I use beige. You can use. Um, This color is um, sand. You can also use this one. It's um, putty beige. I, li I like to use it because it's similar to uh, skin tone, but can give very, very, very nice fine air. Um, I often begin in the side temple and um, cheek because does some um, fuzzy uh, fuzzy air in the in the face I don't know uh, peach fuzz I think you just go with fine really fine short line like that go over here, join the brow a little. It's really, really subtle. Don't want too much on my face. It's depending on the baby. The younger they are, the the more peach fuzz they have. So it's really uh, not even sure you can see it in the camera. So I do that. You can put some in there. I I have seen some some cute baby with peach fuzz on the ear. Then other side the same thing. I go generally join the brow and little over. Follow the the airline. This the direction. 
pass over the the air ear and go over the cheek. Just follow a nice fine very fine line, short. Then ear, the airline, give some fine ear. Just do some fine, really fine ear to the airline ear. Some people are really good at it. They do all the the front, and I just put some here. The, the front. It's an older baby, so it's not. Do not have much fuss. Then for the highlight, you go between the dark side. You just touch um, where the light come on the head. You on the air. You see some bright touch. Just do some bright touch here and there. Just over below the I think it's below <laughs> over the some dark here. Don't put too much, just some touch here and there. your pencil sharp so I go all over the up and give some highlight I put more on the top because that's where the light came more often but you can put some on the, on the back too with just to, the words say it's highlight so you just want to put light on and you will see up here some 3D effect really fast it's nice it's not flat you can do some fine air, air here too if you want Et voilà. Voilà, voilà. So. It's done. Take a last look. Go over, look everywhere. If you think some place you can add more air or go another direction in the time uh, then after that if you are happy with it you can varnish final varnish on it and you're done with the prismacolor it's not my best work in prismacolor it's been a long time since i have done it but i think it's pretty decent so for the next part i will do paint over it so just to show you how i paint my air. So um, we'll see you for the part two of the painting tutorial. Thank you very much to uh, have stay with me, even if my uh, my English is far from perfect. <laughs> I hope you have understand uh, what I have said.
uh, we'll try to uh, to uh, be better and practice more so thank you very much you can follow me you can put a like you can ask me a question in the the commentaire below so thank you have a nice day